modern approach to complex PCI, uh, pot technique is essential because we need to obtain a very good result in terms of stent uh, expansion. We know that uh, in all study, uh, when we, we achieve an optimal stent expansion, we have a very good follow-up. To perform a perfect pot, we need high precision and no balloon shoulders. A too proximal position of the balloon will lead to incomplete expansion of the uh, polygon of confluence. A too distal position will cause the carina shift into the side branch and overstretching of the distal main vessel. Finally, the pot should extend proximally to uh, avoid bottleneck deformation uh, of the proximal stand edge. A perfect balloon for pot will have three features. One, minimal or no compliance, achieving high pressure and full stand expansion even with two stand layers without overstretching the stand. Two, minimal or no shoulders, it should be virtually a rectangular balloon to avoid distally carrying a shift or proximally dissections. And three, uh, good folding in order to be reused. For example, most two stand techniques require up to three pot inflations. Brosmed uh, pot dedicated balloon is the first balloon to the best of, of my knowledge that was designed specifically for this task. And it performs beautifully having in mind the three aforementioned features, low compliance, minimal shoulders, and good refolding. When using Brosmed pot balloon with very, very precise uh, ending on the balloon, we have lesser chance to do the Carina shift than when, when we're using the normal NC balloons because with the normal NC balloons, those balloons has higher longitudinal elongation, elongation of the balloon and we cannot be as precise as necessary when dealing with bifurcation lesions. The pot technique is widely used in bifurcation lesions and uh, when we have uh, actually put in a stand, implanted a stand and that is sized mainly based on the distal main vessel, the proximal end is actually floating. So to ensure that the stand is well opposed, we use a pot balloon in, in what we call the proximal optimization technique or pot technique. The pressures which um, it allows to use are very high. I personally use 28, 30, even more than 30 atmospheres with the pot balloon. Even most of the regular non-compliant balloons do not uh, endure such a high pressures, while the pot balloon allows uh, to achieve such a high, very, very high um, pressures and uh, there are occasions where we use pot balloon not in bifurcation but uh, as a device for uh, when we need uh, to post dilate the stent uh, at the extremely high pressure so the balloon is uh, it has this advantage we have now on the shelf uh, the pot balloon by Brosmet uh, the difference between non-compliant balloon is that uh, he has a very uh, uh, short shoulder so when you post dilate you can go up to 28 or 30 atmosphere uh, the balloon doesn't go outside of the stand strut so you uh, have no risk of dissect proximal dissection so now we have the dedicated pot balloon which is at uh, six millimeters uh, the difference is that we have got a shorter pot length you can uh, have a lesser length of the stand in the uh, proximal main branch and the pot balloon is also uh, designed in a way it has got a shorter shoulder so there's very little uh, material of the balloon which is actually outside the stacked segment so this definitely reduces uh, the chances of injury to the blood vessel especially when uh, high pressures are applied I have been using a Brosmet pot balloon for almost two years in bifurcation and cheap cases and my experience so far has been very good with nice performance of the device in most of the cases. I would also add that the device can be used multiple times without uh, apparent device fatigue. 
when you use uh, in a consequent uh, inflations, for example, if you do pot, side branch pot technique or hour modification with the pot and uh, pot uh, combined with kissing, what we call pocky technique, um, there is no change in uh, balloon compliance, which usually occurs with uh, another balloons. So you can inflate uh, the balloon several times in several sessions during the PCI and uh, the compliance is uh, the compliance of the balloon is uh, completely preserved. We at University Hospital Centers of Croatia has very good experience with prospect pot balloon. We have used so far more than 65 balloons in the last six months period, not only for the verification lesions. It proved to be very good is in normal non-verification lesions when we want to do very precise stent post dilatation, especially in very short stents, for instance, 12 millimeters left main stent, we can do very precise high pressure post dilatation within the stand limit and not cause the high pressure damage of the vessel either at the exit exit or entry point of the stands because we know with the normal NC balloons with very high pressure we can have longitudinal energization of the balloon within the non-stented area and we can cause edge dissection. So it is in my practice that I use the pot balloon uh, in most situations for various reasons. Number one, it is an NC balloon. You can go at high pressures. Number two, it's got a very short uh, shoulder length. So you have very little risk of uh, injuring uh, vessels which are not intended for high pressure dilatation. And uh, despite it being a non-compliant balloon, it's, uh, it's got a very uh, excellent uh, crossability and uh, we have no issues delivering this balloon across stand struts or even uh, through long lesions. The crossing profile of the balloon is uh, quite good. Um, it is my personal impression that uh, it is more slippery and uh, much more deliverable than the standard non-compliant balloon. Actually, this balloon was one of the reasons to modify my personal technique when I use and when I do optimization of the bifurcation uh, anatomy. We have a quite a good experience with the uh, pot balloon for bifurcations and uh, as I said not only for bifurcations because the balloon fits well also for uh, non-dilatable uh, coronary lesions. I'm so satisfied with the pot balloon that uh, uh, I can use even in the preparation of the lesion as a, a classical non-compliant balloon in order to achieve a very good uh, preparation in calcified lesion. Uh, the crossability is great and so I can use even prior to stent implantation and as a classical pot technique. So with the usage of a, a, a pot balloon, I can minimize the length of my proximal end of the stent. Number two, the markers of the, the pot balloon are also excellent. So it's not difficult to place the balloon at exactly where you want to locate it. If you are doing a, a, a proximal optimization of the left main, uh, especially in a two stand strategy or even a provisional stenting strategy, you can place the, the, the balloon at exactly the point that you want to because of the excellent visibility of the balloon markers.